Hi there, I'm Matt Vandy Hart, Pioneer Field Agronomist from Central Iowa, providing an update on what we're scouting for here in parts of late July, early August. So, here's four things to think about, despite what stage your corn is in or what outlook you have on the corn crop. Here's four things we're looking at. Number one, I'm looking at disease pressure. Whether I've applied fungicide already or I considered, uh, you know, just not spraying fungicide, I'm going to keep scouting throughout the year. I'm going to make sure I've got a clean canopy right there around the ear leaf and mid canopy and above to make sure I have a lot of yield potential left. So you may run out of residual. You may have something flare up like tar spot or even gray leaf spot, northern corn leaf blight, maybe even southern rust. You've got to make sure you monitor that field throughout the later parts of grain fill stages. Um, if you haven't applied fungicide, please make sure you're checking those fields because you can get really overwhelmed by a late tar spot population that comes out there and and uh, flushes up through the plant and kills it early. So keep that in mind. Okay, number two, we're looking at any silk feeding. If you've got any late planted fields that are still finishing pollination, we wanna make sure we're checking it and make sure we've got enough silks left to pollinate. We're not clipping within a half inch of the ear and still have plenty of pollination left in that ear across the whole field. So keep that in mind as we can have some crazy Japanese beetle feeding, uh, but namely rootworm feeding if we've got a huge population out there. Number three is checking your rootworm pressure. Your adults that are emerging um, are just the, the second part of what will happen to the corn crop. You might have had feeding down below. So you may want to do some root digs if you've got adults out in the field. If you've got continuous corn, you're looking at those western yellow, yellow and black uh, rootworm adults that are out there. They may be feed on your silks, but they may have also fed plenty on your roots. And so um, the traits can't do all the heavy hitting alone. Uh, sometimes you need another tactic out there. And so changing your soil applied insecticide, adding a soil applied, in a soil applied insecticide, or thinking about beetle bombing is an effective measure to add on to the traits we have to protect our corn crop. So you may need to look at timing when you've got pregnant females out there, which is two weeks after they emerge, and beetle bombing them so they don't build a population for the next corn crop. On your rotate acres, we're seeing a lot of extended diapause show up randomly in certain fields. So you may have those green beetles out there flying through your field. Quantify those fields and understand that that needs a rootworm trait the next time it's corn. We gotta be rotating some rootworm traits in on rotated fields or we're gonna get surprised by um, some of these extended diapause populations. Um, so that's number three. Number four, I am thinking about nutrient deficiencies. I'm sitting in front of a nice green crop here but we got a long ways through grain fill. If I got yellow leaves that show up, showing nitrogen deficiency throughout the, the canopy, moving up to the ear leaf, I may not apply nitrogen because you know I've already determined that I'm just not gonna add any more money to this crop. I understand that, but take note of what your program was, those soil types, how widespread it is. Maybe consider changing your nitrogen plan going forward. Maybe not being so fall heavy, maybe consider having some applications in season, but there's some feasibility about having applications in season and what you can get out there if it's wet. So understand and evaluate your nitrogen program if you're seeing some firing show up or any other nutrient deficiencies as far as your fertilizer plan. If you got any questions on this, as far as late fungicide applications, controlling tar spot, looking at your fertility plan for next year, let us know here at Pioneer. Thank you. That concludes this Pioneer Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.